Linux desktop environment tier list, let's go baby. In F tier, we're gonna put LXQT and LXD. Both of these things have the entire purpose of being lightweight, but bro, they are the most ugliest desktop environments I've ever seen. Now in D tier, we're gonna put Deep in. It is one of the prettier desktop environments in my opinion, but it comes from some pretty questionable sources, so uh, do with that what you will. In C tier, we're gonna put Bait. It looks pretty basic and it does what it's supposed to do. Now in B tier, we're gonna put Gnome, i3, and Cinnamon. Gnome is like one of the most popular desktop environments, so it has a pretty good community. It is also pretty customizable and pretty gosh darn reliable. i3 is also really reliable, and it is one of the best tiling window managers if you wanna start getting into that type of stuff. Cinnamon, I just like how it looks. It's pretty cool. Now in A tier, we're gonna put Hyperland, Neary, XFC, and Bungie. Hyperland is really customizable and has a pretty big community, so if you have problems with it, more than likely you're gonna be able to find a solution to it. Neary is just really, really gosh darn cool. I mean, it's scrollable. It is like really unique, and I just love how it looks. XFC looks pretty ugly out of the box, but once you start getting into ricing it, it looks pretty gosh darn good. Bungie, I just like how it looks. Now, the kings in S tier, we're gonna put KDE, Sway, and Awesome. KDE just has the best out of the box experience in my opinion and is just ready for you to start customizing and it's just beautiful. Now Sway is basically just i3 with Wayland, which is why I like it so much. It is also really easy to work with. And Awesome is starting to become one of my favorite tiling window managers because it has Lua extensions. I love Lua. I am a sucker for Lua. And just a reminder, this is all my opinion. If you disagree, go ahead and comment down below. Tell me what I did wrong. Peace.